But for the most part, no. Getting a thumbnail so hard. Whatever you have, you can make it work. And I truly am a believer of that. It makes you feel more artsy. It makes you feel like you know what you're doing. <laughs> really do need to see some more. The turkey? With turkets? Are they called turkets? You can barely see them. Interesting. Hello, this is Simply Haley Sheree and I am Simply Haley Sheree. Welcome or welcome back. Today we are talking about acrylics. I figured that since I'm starting to do oil paintings and trying to practice oil paintings, I need to reflect and look back upon the time where I didn't know anything about acrylics and tell you what I do know and what I've learned. <laughs> so when I first started painting, I had no idea what I was doing and I kind of just started painting because I had extra time and I didn't know what to do but I knew I was artistic and creative so I knew that something was gonna happen and I got this random canvases from Michaels it didn't really matter what they were what shape they were what they were made out of what it said about it. I knew nothing so it didn't matter what it said I was like that's something to paint on let me get it let me grab some paint let me grab some brushes and let's just go because I don't care I just want to paint get my creativity out because I'm bored with that said I had no idea you were supposed to prime canvases until recently um, and still, for the most part, I don't prime my canvas because I forget. Uh, that's something I gotta work on. Some other things that help me paint with acrylics is I have two cups of water. I don't even know if I showed it, but I have two cups is for my other painting. One cup is for more murky water where I keep the brushes, and then the other one, which is usually lighter, this one ended up becoming darker. They're almost the same color, but you can tell this one's lighter. And this one I use for more like adding water to my paints to make them thinner. And I find that making the paint thinner can help me spread it a little bit better, especially when I'm doing like a wash of color or if I want to make it a little bit more smooth, a little sl a sharper line go by. I like to make the acrylic paint thinner because it can be really thick. And sometimes when it's thick, it's hard to get really good control over it and you can get globs on the canvas. And that's not something that I liked. Sometimes I do. But for the most part, no. I don't think that you have to have a really elaborate art setup. Mine's just my desk. I have my paint towel, which I've had for years now. It has a lot of paint off it, on it, as you can see. And I just have a table that I put on top of it, which helps me elevate my painting station because sometimes when I sit on this chair, it's just, I need a little bit more height. And then when I want to stand up, I need even more height. When I first started painting, I was just using you know, I just put it on top of the table and I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even do it. I just taped it down to the table and painted it right on top of it. That's why my table has so many paint marks on it. It worked great for me. And then I, what is it called? And then I upgraded to a small easel that I got from my grandma. And then I updated to this, upgraded to this big easel that I got from Michaels as well. And this works very well. I don't think it's for paintings, but that's what I use it for. I think it's for drawing really and then because I have that on top of my table and my table's not like the grippiest I have uh what is it what is it I have a silicone mat on top of that which I actually have had been using the silicone mat to stop resin from getting on my desk but it works very well it's like a grippy thing on top of my table to keep my easel where it's supposed to be and not slide and slipping everywhere and then I have my water as for brushes, I feel like you can use whatever brushes you want because I definitely started off with some cheapo brushes and probably some sponges, like the sponge brushes that you normally use in like elementary school. And then I started, you know, getting more, what are they called? Upgraded brushes that are kind of just whatever kind of brushes and then some detail brushes that are really small. Hold on that are all slightly curved because I keep them in the water for too long. When you first start, you don't really need specialized brushes. You kind of just need a random pack. Maybe something like, you know, like these with a couple of big brushes, you know, square brushes mixed in. Because I try to make anything work for me. Whatever you have, you can make it work. And I truly am a believer of that. As time goes on, you will notice that you like certain brushes. For me, I noticed that I started to like square brushes. I don't know what for, but I just like the effect they give. And they also make it a lot easier to do straight lines back and forth, especially when I'm doing things like water. The square brushes, you just need to flick your wrist back and forth just to get those lines. You don't need any extra like slowly dragging it to make sure you get the line. You can just go doot doot. 
and it's good sometimes most of the time hopefully <laughs> tape is also going to be one of your best friends and i recommend any tape besides like don't use like scotch tape you should use something more like oh wait this is scotch tape scotch tape this is the tape I use. I think before I used like, some random painter's tape. I've even used washi tape that you use for, you know, letters and stuff. I've used that before. And it works very well. And you just, it really helps you get those crispy edges. You know, real straight like. Something else about acrylics that you really need to know is acrylics dry quickly. Like, quicker than you think they do. Because one moment you're over here, you're drawing in something. And then the next moment you go over there to, to add over to the other side. And you go back to fix what you just did. And it's dry and you can't do anything to it. So you have to paint over it multiple times over and over and over again. Until you get the desired effect. Because you didn't know the acrylics dry quickly. And now you have to start over. As you probably guessed, it's happened to me many times before. So I work really quickly with acrylics. And I have become used to the speed of acrylics. But don't get me wrong, it still takes a long time to finish a painting because I still have to be thorough and I go back and forth with the brush a lot to make sure it gets into the grooves of the canvas because like I said, I forget to prime my canvases and probably if I had primed them, I wouldn't have to um, work as hard to get it together, but I still find that going back and forth and really getting into the canvas really gets it soaked in so when I lift it up I don't see any holes poking through and then the whole canvas is completely covered and nice and great. I also like to mix my colors of acrylic paint before I start painting for the most part. If it's a big canvas I kind of just go straight in on the canvas most of the time. I will put like dots of the color and try to just get an overall color going on before I start adding in the details because I need something on there. I don't really know why, I just do, and you probably should too. And then, where's my palette? You should also get a palette, because this is my third one, I think. I paint on the front, I paint on the back, they're from Amazon, they come in packs, I think. But you need a palette to be able to, or a plate, because don't get me wrong, this is how I started, pa plate painting works very well. You don't need a palette, but you need something to put your paints on, and honestly, it's just fun to paint on a palette because it makes you feel more artsy. Makes you feel like you know what you're doing. <laughs> but as you can see, I mix colors on the palette as I go. I also mix sometimes colors just on here before I start painting because I have a certain detail or a certain color that I'm looking for. Because for the most part, the colors that I use are all hand mixed by me every time. So and that's another reason I try to paint quickly because I don't know if I'm going to remember how to mix the color that I mixed. So I have to get it all on there while I can before it's dry, before I have to try to recreate it again. So I end up, you know, having more paint mixed than I probably need. Um, but it's okay. It's just, it's just, you know, money disappearing. Something you will need more than you think you need is white. You will need titanium white paints a lot more than you think you need. And I also, as far as paint brands go, I use a lot. Um, this one is Craft Smart. I like this titanium white because it's very runny and liquidy and it helps me feel like I'm expanding the acrylic paint that I have, which is mostly Liquitex paints. But when I first started painting, I used a lot of these Montmartre acrylic color and these castle art. I did not mean to grab two of the same color. That's pretty cool. But I was just using any paint that was available to me and these were paints that I got as gifts and they just come in a pack and you have like a lot of all the colors that you need so it's good to start with. Another thing that I noticed with acrylic paint is that getting details can be hard or simple depending on how thin you can get your paint. Because if it's a little bit more runny and you have a small enough brush like this one, you can just really just go in and just like really try to get your hand steady and get the line going or the dot or the star you know whatever you need to do but if the paint's a little bit thicker it can be hard to really get those fine details in so i do suggest thinning it out with either water or like a runnier paint so you get a kind of consistency that's kind of like very warm honey like very warm not just warm like warm like it's like ooh, like it's dripping off the thing you know that's the kind of consistency i would go for to get those really small details that you're looking for i also think that something you need to do is take a step back i mean like literally like do this like take a step back 
and look at what's really going on in the overall picture. I used to think that people were lying <laughs> when they said those things because it just felt like, oh, you just want to, you know, do this, all this stuff. But it actually, uh, it actually helps because when you take a step back and you look at the entire thing, you can look at the overall composition of it and you can really understand like where you need more of one color or maybe this side needs a little bit more shading or I need a really highlight over here or it looks a little bit unbalanced to you. And that's what taking a step back helps you realize is that there's more going on than when you're super close and you're just working on fine, fine details because when you take that step back, you can see a lot more. And it's true, you really do need to see some more. And the last thing that I want to say is something that you should do is take breaks. Breaks are my godsend. Breaks are my tried and true method. Sometimes you just need to take a break. And that break will help you relax, not be so frustrated at your art, and also help you come, when you come back, you can probably see a lot more going on. Taking a break can sometimes be this little piece of sanity that you need to be able to complete your painting because definitely there are times especially in the beginning where I paint and it's just not turning out how I wanted it to go it looks ugly I don't know what's going on I use the wrong color and I'm just getting so frustrated and art is supposed to be a nice experience fun creative relaxing whatever you therapeutic whatever you need it for but if it's starting to get irritating take your break don't just sit there and be like I have to finish this I have to finish it now take your time please But yeah, that is all I have for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or do whatever you want. It does help me out though. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I like talking about this. If you want some more like tips on acrylic paints or when I figure out oils, tips on oil paint, let me know in the comments or not. Um, maybe I'll do the video anyway. But yeah, uh, that's all I got. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'm done.